Hey dolls! So, yes, it is Vlogmas and I decided that I'm going to kind of do Vlogmas in the fact that I am going to attempt to upload a video every single day from December 1st to 25th. I know some people do Vlogmas differently. They will start it the day after Thanksgiving and vlog until Christmas. Some people start the day after Thanksgiving, vlog all the way to New Year's. This year, I'm just going to do December 1st through the 25th, um, just every day uh, up until Christmas. Some of these will be vlog style, some of these will be regular videos, but my goal is just to upload a video every single day on my channel. So you guys will see like product reviews and stuff like that normally, but I will also throw in some vlogs. I'm going to be going out of town for my birthday, which is next Friday. Friday the 7th so yeah I'll probably vlog that a little bit which will be pretty cool but um yeah right now I just finished up my face I used my James Charles palette for my eyes and I don't know why I have a little mark right here I gotta fix that but um I just used my James Charles palette for my eyes and I used Jeffree Star oh uh, what is this a lip color soft serve on my lips in case you were curious so there is that sorry if my uh camera goes out of focus and everything and you guys i will be probably vlogging redoing my roots this time because i do have to redo them very very soon as you can clearly see and i always get a lot of questions on the process of how i dye my roots and how i lighten them and the whole shebang so because i am doing vlogmas i'll probably vlog doing my roots i like to lighten them uh one night and then do the pink the following day so that i don't have to spend like five hours doing my hair I can kind of break it up into two different days and it's a lot easier and less stressful that way but right now I'm just going to run a straightener through my hair so nothing fancy or anything um so if you guys did not watch my live stream you guys might not know that my mom just recently had knee surgery so I am at home with her I took some time off of my job at the bakery to be with her for her knee surgery. She just had her right knee done and now um, she's in the recovery process from it. And then after the right knee is done, then they have to go in and do the left knee. And once the left knee is done, then they have to go in and operate on her foot. So I'm only really able to do this vlogging thing because my life is going to be a little more exciting <laughs> for a week or so. Um, usually if I just went to work, I probably wouldn't do Vlogmas because my life ain't that exciting, especially when I have to get up and do my makeup and go to work every day. But because I am going to be home and I'll be able to focus on my channel a little bit more, uh, my mom is napping right now, so that kind of gives me time to film and do what I need to do here at home. Obviously, I have to make up for the income that I am not making at my second job through my channel, which, because Vlogmas is here and December is usually the peak time for um, YouTube, this actually worked out perfectly. So hopefully I'll be able to film a little bit over the next few days or so for Vlogmas. Um, yeah, they might not be, like, in the particular order, but I will vlog regardless, and videos will go up, so hopefully I'll be able to put in the time and effort to edit these and get them up. They shouldn't take too long since vlogs, pretty much all I do with vlogs, editing them, is I just splice all of the footage together and just compile it all and then just save it, <laughs> so it's not that hard to edit those necessarily. But regular videos, I do take the time to edit, especially if they are sponsorships and stuff. But I'm just going to finish straightening my hair. And then I'm actually expecting a couple kind of cool things in the mail today. So maybe when I'm done straightening my hair, I can show you guys kind of what I got in the mail. I will be doing a Black Friday slash Cyber Monday haul once everything gets here. 
uh, I haven't gotten any, not nearly anything yet because I did most all of my shopping online. In fact, I did do all of my shopping online. But uh, yeah, when the packages do start arriving, um, I will set them aside and then I can do my Black Friday Cyber Monday haul. It's not going to be near as big as last year, but I did buy some things that I do kind of want to share with you guys. And yeah, I guess with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go for now. And I will catch up with you in a little bit. I am straightening my hair and I just did my makeup so that I could film today. Uh, so I'm going to be like filming a lot right now. Hopefully I'll be able to get everything done before my mom wakes up from her nap. But yeah, with that, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and go finish doing my hair. And I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Sorry my camera is like weird with the focus. It, it does this a lot when I'm not in my normal background <laughs> like filming videos. So apologize for that. But anyway, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I just checked the mail and what I was expecting was in there. Um, okay, so long story short, there is this game from like the 90s I think it was and my sister and I would always play this on our old dinosaur ancient desktop computer at the time it was all new and fancy but n like nowadays like it's considered a dinosaur and like super old and I found it on eBay <laughs> and it took me like an hour to google it and to find out like what the name of it was I could not remember what the name of it was to save my life and I ended up finding it and tracking it down and someone created like an installer CD for like the new Windows laptops and Macs and stuff. And it was $17.95 or something like that. It was like $18. And so I bought it and I'm just now installing the game on my computer. And... Okay. Oh my gosh. Here it comes. Anyway, I just, what? This is a huge, what, oh. Okay. Press escape to continue. All right, here we go. Anyway, the game is called Alien Arcade. And, <laughs> come on, please tell me the sound is with it. Alien Arcade. File, new options, okay. To exit game, select file, then exit windows. Okay, but I don't want to exit the game. I want to play the game. Options. Open. Okay, there we go. I did it. Okay. So, this game was called Alien Arcade. And my sister and I would play it all the time. And there's like these little mini games in it and stuff. Man, come on. Where's my volume? There's got to be volume, right? I forget where my volume is because these like <gasps> there it is oh my gosh this is so funny okay so there's like mini games there's like six mini games or something like that and it was so hard finding this because um oh my gosh here they are the six little mini games and it was so hard finding this because there are so many alien video games like you do not even know and this one is like non like I don't know, it's not scary, it's not like a horror game, it's not anything like that. It's for kids. <laughs> so it was really hard to find it and figure out the name of it, but I found it, yay! Okay, so let's just, I think my favorite one was, oh gosh, it just froze. Oh, let me go back, how do I go back? It's all mouse operated, so it's kind of weird. Okay, let me see if I can do this again. Okay, I liked this one, I think. Oh my gosh, yeah, I remember this one. You have to collect all the little aliens. Oh, and ignore the bananas, because they're bad. <laughs> I feel like I need to do a playthrough of this on my channel. Okay, but where's the music? How do I exit? Can I exit? Backspace? Escape? Oh, okay. I scored zero. Okay, what's your name? Manda. I remember very distinct, like, oh my gosh, there's my score. I remember 
have a very distinct, um, what do I put? Oh, there we go. I remember very distinct sounds. Okay. In space, you can't hear chickens clucking. But you can hear. Isn't that how it goes? But you can hear? Oh, I don't remember. Okay. Hold on. I need to find that home screen. File. Options. Save settings on menu. Arrange icons. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I don't think I can do um, the sounds like I want to do. Because there used to be like really, really like distinct sounds, but that's okay. I don't know, I'll show you guys one of the other games. You have to like kill, you have to not kill them, but there you go. You have to hand them stuff. I don't know. These are not the original sounds and it kind of hurts me because like that's half the reason I was so excited was to like hear the music, but I don't hear the music at all. So I don't know. This is funny. <laughs> Anyway, you guys get the point. There's like mini games and they're really fun and it was just kind of like a thing that my sister and I would always do. So I really wanted to live like part of my childhood. Then there's this one where you have to like create robots. Oh. Oh no. I need a, I need a body. There's a body. Okay, so we drop a body. Drop the torso, and then drop the head. There, we made a robot! Yay! Oh my gosh, it's so lame. I remember it being so freaking cool. And my sister and I absolutely loved playing this. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this because I figured it would maybe some of you guys would remember it. I don't even know if anyone comes close to remembering this game at all. But it's something that I played all the time, so... It's funny. It gives you guys an, an idea of what I used to do as a child. <laughs> so, yay! Alien Arcade! <laughs> what are you doing? Playing with your hedgehog? <laughs> <laughs> you want to get it? Come here. Get up on the bed. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Rebel! What are you doing? <laughs> That's mommy, you silly boy. Hey! Hi! Hi, cutie! You can get your toy? <laughs> Go get it! Go get your toy! <laughs> anyway, um, this box right here, this little package, I wanted to kind of show you guys real quick. Someone sent me... Oh gosh, I can't... I don't know if I can set this where I need to set it. Okay, that's gonna have to work. My little makeshift, um... A little makeshift tripod here. Uh, <laughs> someone sent me in my, in, not in my P.O. box, to my house. Someone sent me this little package. And it says, your friends at Kawaii Group, thank you for being awesome this year. May your Christmas be filled with peace and snacks. And it's just like a little box of Japanese snacks and candies and stuff. And I think this is from the people who uh, do the kawaii box and squishy kiosk and stuff like that. So they sent me this little package and I've tried a couple of them so far. They sent me two of these little chocolate bar things. They sent me two of these little chocolate bar things. And they sent me... There was one other one that I ate. Oh no, I gave one to my mom. So I don't have that one here. But then I also got these little Tsum Tsum cookies that they sent. And these are little fruit snacks. I think this is like a little Rice Krispie treat thing. And then there's these. They look like maybe they're bubble gum or candy or something. They just have that little picture right there. And then there are these little puff. And I think these are like chips. Oh, maybe they are candy ones. Oh no, they say, it says Merry Christmas all over everything. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and try these and this little rice cake thing because I think that's what they are. Oh yes. Okay, these are the ones that I love so much. I used to get these in like, uh, what was it? Japan candy box, I think it was. I used to get these when they would send them to me. They're like, um, if you guys are familiar with like those Cheetos puffs, but like they're like the parmesan cheese or something anyway they're like they look like a oh puff corn that's what it's called these remind me of that and if i remember right that's what they taste like oh they taste just like that okay same texture same taste but these ones are actually coated with some sort of like icing or frosting to make it a little sweet it's like a vanilla taste so it's not like super overpowering or anything so this is meant to be more of like a dessert snack i think they're good <laughs> they're really good okay and then this little rice cake thing oh it's chocolate yay it's chocolate so it just looks like this. It literally looks like plastic or something. Can I break it apart without it crumbling into a thousand pieces? I'll just bite it. Oh, it smells like chocolate. Mmm. Not quite sure how I feel about this one. It's like not even a rice cake. It's like, I don't know, it's like very spongy. And it doesn't even really taste like chocolate. It just looks like it's chocolate coated. It's just very, very thin. Like you can see how streaky it is and stuff. So it's not like a super strong chocolate taste. A very weird texture. Definitely not the grossest thing ever though. It's all right. No, you can't have any of this. It's not for puppies. <laughs> okay and then i do want to try one of the sum sum cookies because they looked really good oh there's actually two in here oh i just dropped it there's like a white chocolate and a regular chocolate and they're just like little wafer cookies They're just like little wafer cookies. This one's white chocolate in the middle. You can't really taste the chocolate. You just get like an overwhelming taste of the cookie. But they're not bad. They're kind of like the cookies that you get when you go on plane trips and stuff. That they give you. Kind of like the, uh, the Biscoff cookies, but like not as good. <laughs> These are a little bit more plain, kind of like Nilla wafers, but they're pretty good. I'm not hating on them. I thought it was more of like a little cookie sandwich than two individual cookies, but it's Tsum Tsum, so that's kind of cute. Hmm. Ribble. Anyway, I just figured I would pop on here <clears throat> and kind of show you guys these and taste test a couple of them. But, um... Yeah, I don't really know where else to go with this vlog because, like, I don't know. It's been a long time since I vlogged just, like, day-to-day -day life. <laughs> so, uh, if this wasn't that exciting, I'm sorry. But if you liked it, give it a thumbs up so I know that it was good and I can do more. I did film my other video today, so that will be up sometime soon, hopefully. And, yeah, hopefully I can get this edited and uploaded tonight. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I will be able to do another sit down one of these vlogs. I have a couple topics that I really want to sit down and do full on like talky talky vlogs with. Like not necessarily vlogging like going somewhere or follow me rounds or things like that because like I said I'm going to be home a lot. Um, but 
I do have a couple of major topics that I want to talk about during this holiday season, so I will probably touch on those and do individual little vlogs kind of like this of those topics rather than like a sit down video with my big fancy lights and the whole shebang. I'll probably just do one a little bit more personal like this. Um, so keep an eye out for those if you are interested in kind of like serious topics and my opinions on things and my experiences with things. And with that being said, I guess I am going to go ahead and let you guys go and I will talk to you all soon. So with that being said, so long. Stay strong. Oh my gosh, I should have set this down so I could do my outro properly. What am I thinking? Okay, so long. Stay strong, stay true, and be you. Okay, bye.